<laughs> yeah, this is a sports bike, right? Or is it? <laughs> So, is this a sports bike? Well, I always thought it was. And then recently I found myself in a conversation with someone who thought otherwise, and they said, no, it can't be a sports bike. It's a 125, mate. It hasn't got the power to be a sports bike. And so that got me thinking, is it? Have I made the assumption that it is when it isn't? Or is it regardless of its power? So it got me to thinking as to, how and why did, did I assume this was a sports bike? Well, let's be honest, you've only got to look at it to think, yeah, that's a sports bike. And then you get on it and it feels like you're riding a sports bike. And you also look like you're riding a sports bike. Thank you. You also look like you're riding a sports bike. Everything about this bike says sports bike. Except maybe it's the power. I was always going to stop here. Don't trust that blind junction. So, what is a sports bike? Let's just pull over for a minute. Sports bike? There it is. That's a sports bike, right? Or is it? Well, having debated, healthily debated, the finer points of sports bikes, I decided to turn to our friend Google to see if there was any sort of definition as to what is a sports bike. Either way, this fine machine, I was always going to keep riding it. But let's see what Google said. A sports bike is a motorcycle designed and optimised for speed. At this point I started sucking air through my teeth. <sighs> I haven't got that one. Acceleration, check. Braking, check. They are mainly designed for performance at the expense of comfort and storage. Well, comfortable. I find them comfortable. But as we saw last week, have we compromised on storage? Absolutely we have. Give ourselves a tick on that one. And then it continued. A sports bike will have a full frontal fairing with a functional windshield. Check and check. Ah, what else we have? Sports bike comes with a large fairing on their fronts. Yes, we've already checked that one off. They have forward leaning ergonomics with seating and handlebar positions that encourage aggressive riding. Sports bikes also generally have high seats, absolutely, so that the riders can lean farther on the motorcycle without scraping foot pegs or fairings. Starting to look a lot more like a sports bike again. A sports bike is a fared motorcycle with an aggressive riding position thanks to low set clip-on handlebars. There they are, clip-on handlebars. These bikes are focused towards performance and handling. There's that performance word again. So at this point I decided, thanks Google, that has helped somewhat. What do Yamaha say? Well, on their own advert, they refer to the R125 as a premium super sport motorcycle. Like, Yamaha didn't even go down the sports bike route, they just went full super sport. And we start to 
get into splitting hairs now over the difference between sports bikes and super sports. I will spare myself and everybody else the pain of that. So Yamaha have gone full blown super sport. Okay. And who am I to argue with Yamaha? Matter of fact, if you don't believe this is a sports bike, yeah, it's fine. Good on you. Each to their own. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong. There is definitely a debate to be had here. There is definitely one key component missing from this bike in that in that debate about whether it's a sports bike or not and that key component being speed I would not go as far as to say the key component missing is performance most people who've ridden these bikes would would agree that these these bikes perform really well but yes, it definitely lacks in the, in the power department. I wouldn't even say speed necessarily. As I've said, this bike will do 70, no problem. Yamaha, I think it'll do 84. It probably is power where it lacks because it only has 15, or as I've been told, some of them came with 17. And with that key component of power lacking, there's definitely a debate there as to whether it is a sports bike or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's a sports bike that just has that one key component missing. Or maybe it's an introduction to sports bikes. You see, you could drop two grand on one of these, ride it on the CBT and decide sports bikes aren't for me. And you've gotten that out of your system, you've learnt that on something like this. Whereas you could have gone and dropped 5k on a much bigger bike and then decided that no, that aggressive lent over riding position isn't for me. Maybe that's what they're, maybe that's what they are. And after all this debating and googling, searching, etc, etc, if you ask me, is this a sports bike? You're damn right it is.